Hi, Stephen Hand from Staccata in Hobart. Today I want to talk about using the, using the dagger to parry. Now, a lot of people have asked me about dagger parries because the systems that I teach don't actually include parries with the dagger or certainly not parries of cuts. And let's look at what Silver says about parrying with the dagger. In his section on sword and dagger in Brief Instructions Upon My Paradoxes of Defence, Silver says, defend with your sword and not with your dagger. And in the sword and dagger versus rapier and dagger section, he says, if you have the short sword and dagger, defend with your sword and not your dagger, except you have a gauntlet or hilt upon your dagger hand, then may you ward upon forehand ward upon the double. So Silver is saying that even if you have an enclosed hilt, um, probably meaning a sailback hilt on your dagger, uh, or you're wearing a gauntlet, even then you can only parry double, you can't parry single with the dagger. Now Joseph Sweetenham, now he's talking about defending against a rapier, not even defending against a sword. On page 88 of his treatise he says, if you trust to the dagger only, the blow may have to glance over the point of your dagger and endanger, endanger the head. On page 96 he says, trusting to the dagger only, you may be deceived by, the, by reason of the sharpness of your dagger. If the blow light near the point, it may glance over and so hit you on the head, and also by reason of the shortness of your dagger, now bear in mind that Sweetenham said you wanted a dagger that was at least two feet long, uh, which are now most commonly worn of all men, for I have known men of good skill deceived by trusting to the point or dagger only for the defence of, of a blow. The dagger is not sure to defend it. On page 159 in the backsword section, he says, he that doth trust to defend a blow with the dagger only may be deceived. He then repeats uh, more or less what we've just heard above. Um, and when he says that a blow may be defended with the sword and dagger together, he writes, a weak man, yea, a boy, may defend a strong man with both. So both Silver and Sweetenham uh, are saying that you can't defend uh, sword cuts with a dagger. But we've all seen it done. We've all seen sword cuts defended uh, with a dagger. So what's going on here? Quite often in free play, we're, we're, we train not to deliver cuts with full force because uh, we're worried about the safe, as we should be, about the safety of our opponent. And so we get an issue, like what you're about to see, um, where cuts are coming in with limited strength and it's really quite easy to defend them with a dagger. But what happens if the person is striking with their full strength? What happens in that case? So, based on what we've just seen, it would seem that Silver and Sweetenham are right, that we don't have enough strength with the dagger, even with a big dagger like the one I was using, um, to defend against solid sword cuts. Now, as you saw, uh, I mean, I'm a fairly big, strong guy. I'm an ex-rugby player, and my son is smaller and weaker than I am. Uh, and yet he was able to quite easily smash through my, my dagger parries. So, are dagger parries completely useless? Well, there are some dissenting voices. One of these is Giacomo de Grazzi, and he writes on page 29 recto, Neither may it seem strange that the only dagger ought to defend all blows of the left side, for it does most easily sustain every edge blow when it encounters the sword in the first and second part thereof. But yet let man, no man assure himself to bear any blow with his only dagger when he meets with the sword on the third and fourth part thereof, 
because that part carries more force with it than may be sustained with the only dagger. And he goes on on page 32 verso to say, when one wards with his dagger only, he shall increase a pace and bear his arm forwards. So what's de Grazzi saying here? De Grazzi divides the sword into four parts, with the first part being closest to the hilt, the second, third and fourth part being furthest away from the hilt. Uh, and he says that if you try to defend uh, a cut by putting, placing your dagger uh, in the way of the third or, third or fourth part of the sword, that your defence won't be strong enough. Whereas if you defend putting your dagger in the way of the first or second part of the sword, then your defence will be strong enough. And he says that in order to do this, what you need to do is you need to increase a pace, i.e. you need to step in and do what Silver would have called smothering up the attack before it's entered into its full force, which you can see here. Now, essentially what de Grazzi is doing is he's closing almost close enough to take the grip. Um, and in doing so, he's able to parry with the dagger. So in essence, he sort of proves uh, Sweetenham and Silver's point that there isn't enough strength under normal circumstances to parry cuts with the dagger. Now, obviously one exception to this rule would be if the dagger is physically big enough uh, that you can actually parry cuts. And an example of this would be the English alehouse dagger, uh, which is essentially a short sword. Uh, even then, you need to parry the cuts correctly. If you parry too near the tip of the, the dagger, um, you can run into problems. So in conclusion, can we parry cuts with, with the dagger? Well, Silver and Sweetenham say no. De Grazzi says you can parry cuts with the dagger, but he says that you need to step in and you need to parry cuts on the first or second part, the, the forte of your opponent's sword. And if you try to parry the, the foible, the part that's furthest from the hilt and is swinging faster, you won't have the strength to be able to parry the cut. Now, is this the end of the story? No. In the following video, I'm going to look at other opinions, uh, other systems, which say that you can parry cuts with the dagger and don't have the, um, the caveats that, um, that De Grazzi has that essentially say you can stand in place and parry cuts with the dagger. And I'm then going to look and say, well, if you can parry cuts with the dagger, why do people like Silver and Sweetenham uh, not have you doing that? Uh, is there another problem with parrying cuts with the dagger? Thanks for watching.